to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Combat Arms patch. It's been the talk of the town, and a lot of people are hating on it. Now, in my first impressions video, I was a bit, I was a bit negative about the patch, but I have to say that was just because looking at it, triple duels that just made me crushed inside. The fact that I would be versing that in Junk Flu One Man Army, and people were just duels and duels and duels and duels, but Looking beyond the face value of overpowered weapons, and obviously that can be tweaked, you can just go and make it so you can't buy the super overpowered weapons. Let's actually go and talk about the patch and the positives and the negatives, and I believe there is more positives than negatives in my opinion. Let's go straight to the whole rental system, the GP rental system. Now straight up, the only one day is just a really, really, really bad idea. And I know Nexon in the future is going to go and introduce 7, 30, and 90 day. I think that's just logical for them to do that. Monetary wise, in order to go and make them more profit, you'd keep it at one day. You'd keep it at one day. So people could just go and try the weapon and then you could go and buy it for Annex for permanent. That's the logical step. But saying that, Nexon has done this absolutely massive thing to go and make the game a lot better and <laughs> big clap for them because that is a massive step. To make it that NX weapons can now be bought for GP, that is just chucking the whole book out of the window that they've been going with for so long. And Nexon have gone and wise enough and realised that they're not the king of the FPS genre, free to play first person shooter genre anymore. It was actually a lot better bigger and more important plays than combat arms at the moment. So to try and something different, I really appreciate that. The whole NX and the GP rentals, it's a great idea. So you can buy NX weapons for GP. It's going to make it so GP users have a much easier time to go and buy, just to go and stack up against the NX users. It doesn't matter if you have, you know, 15, 20 permanents. Someone who's just been playing a game for a week a day can go and get NX weapons on par or even better than what you've got and people saying oh it's not fair because I've bought my NX just suck up and realize that this game needs to become balanced and this is an absolutely great idea and Nexon's going to introduce it in a fantastic way to keep their profits up if they like the gun, they can buy it, buy it for permanent. But if you don't want to buy it for permanent, you can still go and rent it. There's no difference between a GP and an Annex user at the moment. Now, the big, big problem about this whole rental system, in theory, it works perfectly. But in practical means, it doesn't exactly work due to the fact that GP gain is just really, really, really slow. The GP prices of everything have gone up. So unless you have like 200k stored around, then you're going to have a pretty hard time buying a decent NX weapon, gear, the light vest. For some reason, the combat vest has got plus 9. I don't know if that's a glitch or not, if it's just on the stats or if it's in-game or whatnot. But you can buy yourself a decent vest, a pistol, and it's going to cost you a lot of money. And the fact that there's no GP passes anymore, you can't sell back X and X weapons. Nexon did this for a purpose, but it's hurting the newer player. The newer player that that starting combat arms, it's going to go and hurt them. The only way to go and make this work is to go and increase at GP rates, make it so you earn, let's say, a thousand GP per game, and then to go pay all this off, it would only take you two, three, four games instead of literally like 15 games. Some guy did the math on the combat arms form, and it is really, really, really extreme the amount of games you have to go and play in order to get all your money back. Now, saying that, if you're a current player, this isn't going to really affect you too much. You get to go and check out some new GP weapons and stuff, but it is definitely not broken. It's a step in the new direction. And Nexon are literally chucking profits out the window, out the window, in order to go and save combat arms. I thought they were going to ditch CA and go for extraction, but they're staying on to, staying on to CA, and there's an absolutely fantastic thing. Now, the new cases... I don't really care about, I don't buy an X. The whole let's go and get ghost high set keys, that's cool as well. You can buy them for GP, you can buy for an X, and you can go and buy permanent GP weapons for an X. And that's good. There's no downside to it. There's absolutely no downside at all. If you want to spend real money on something you can get with in-game money, 
then that's not going to be infecting anybody. And I think that's Nexon's idea, that everybody is on a clean slate. Besides, if you've got Recon Vest, if you've got Recon Vest, you're on a bit of a, you're on a, bit of a higher pedestal than everybody else. But saying that, with everything in combat arms nowadays, it's even. And that's fantastic. It doesn't matter if you're a GP player. It doesn't matter if you're an NX player. You're on the same plane, and yes, this will see more NX weapons, but they're not NX weapons anymore, and that's the great thing. So if you're starting combat arms, then you're going to be okay starting combat arms. You're not going to get crushed with people with NX just because you can go and buy the weapons people are using. Now, getting the GP is going to be the hard part, and obviously there's going to be some tweaks. There needs to be some very necessary tweaks. Make it so it's 1, 7, 30, 90 days for the rentals. Make sure you can get get more GP, so increase the GP rate since you went and got rid of the passes. But overall, the patch is definitely, definitely a positive and a really good step in the, in the right direction for Next, and they're taking a very, very, very big leap of faith, and heaps of people have been hating on the patch. But this is definitely a really good patch. Now, if you're a current GP user, just a pure GP user, you're going to be loving this. You're going to be in absolute heaven. If you're an NX player, nothing's going to change. You're just going to see more NX weapons on the field. If you're a new player, it's going to go and suck. And so Nexon has to go and balance it out and make sure that GP rates are better. And obviously, that will go and affect the current players as well. But mainly, it will be those lower players with low amounts of GP. P. But with all these new things Nexon has gone and introduced into the game, there's one question on everybody's mind, will CA survive? And that is the absolutely crucial, crucial question. The answer, I've got no idea. And let's see these next couple patches. And also, next and next time you go and do a release of a patch, do it all at once. Do it all at once. Don't go and do it in segments. Because if you leave out stuff that is absolutely crucial to your plan, if you go and just left leave it out, then that's going to go and create a gaping hole of sadness for everybody to go and hate on, basically. And the free GP weapon rotations... Come on, that's like Nexon never done stuff like this, and it's going really, really, really good. So hopefully they can go and keep it up. Other than that, it's undercover dudes all the way from down under. Out.